Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where we bring you latest in international updates about travel and job opportunities, not forgetting visa consultation services and what about helping you to book your international flights and all other services that we really offer. My name is Don Franco and in this video today I want to bring you three strategies that are very very effective that you would want to use if you want to go work in Lithuania and this strategy is going to work very successfully because you will not need much time to actually go and work in this country. I want to start by presenting you first of all this quick search from a job site called LinkedIn and um, as you can see from your screen these are 4,383 jobs in Lithuania, right? And uh, the jobs ranges from customer services administration, customer support specialist, customer specialist, uh, onboarding specialist, assistant sales manager, so many product support uh, representative. And I also want to present to you another situation here these are the present jobs that are open actually for people out of Lithuania, right? Only 140 open positions. When you look at the statistics from LinkedIn, you will see that we have more than 4,383 jobs in LinkedIn. And when you go to the site, to the job site that actually give opportunity for foreigners to work in Lithuania, you will just have 140 positions ranging from ranging from accounting and finances analytics aviation engineering consulting research education training and what of you so many like engineering graphic design human resource information technology and services for 55 positions legislative office just 10 uh, management just three manufacturing one market advertising four so what I want you to understand before we push forward, forward in this video is that there are very few jobs that are advertised out of Lithuania majority of the works and the jobs are advertised for people who are already in Lithuania so what are the three strategies that you need to actually migrate easily within one month in Lithuania and get a job within the very shortest period of time the three strategies are before you get into the three strategies ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you for having been there up to this moment our new subscribers you're welcome to to the channel and please turn on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you're going to be actually notified for the people who believe on this channel from the beginning and they are still there today a shout a big shout out to you please continue to trust our services the reason why i'm bringing this video today is because i want to actually help those who have been flooding in my emails, my WhatsApp with questions about Lithuania, what should I do? I need to go to Lithuania. Can you help me? Can you do this? It is, I cannot do that all alone. The point is I want you to also have access to the resources and get the right information and actually get your Lithuanian dream successful. Remember, Lithuania is in the Schengen space, the Schengen region. It, Lithuania is one of the Schengen countries and the Schengen visa is very easy to get it, right? Yes. So I'm going to walk you through successfully on the different three strategies. The first strategy that you need is to define a career. Strategy one is to define a career. Strategy two is to get a Schengen visa. Just a Schengen visa. Three months. Tourist Schengen visa. And the third strategy, when you are already in Lithuania, you are going to get a job just like, I don't know how to explain how fast that would be. Do you know why? The examples, as I just showed you on this uh, 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 page, you have seen, there are very few jobs for those who are applying from abroad. The world is very big. And just imagine if 8,000 people are applying for this number of jobs. Do you think that you have the chance to get a job? Of course, it's going to be difficult because there's going to be a very high competition, right? From nationality, preferences, 
from the job type preferences, from educational background preferences, from language background preferences, you see that you'll be gradually being eliminated and you'll not be able to have the opportunity. You think that your ancestors have your neck <laughs> on your neck, right? But that's not true. I want to bring you the secret. So first of all, define your career. How do you define your career? Your education background. Make sure that it is up to date. Have at least a high school diploma, high school certificate. That's the most, the, that's the, the, the entry requirement. You don't want to go, to, you don't want to say you want to go work in Lithuania and you don't have a high school requirement, a high school certificate. People are not going to take you serious, right? So you need to have a high school certificate at least, or you have a diploma, a professional diploma that is accumulated over time, which can be equivalent to that diploma, to that certificate. That's the first thing. Second thing, you need to have a career path. What have you been doing all this entire time? Or what career have you built? What job do you do? You need to define it. Some people come to me, say, um, I taught in the primary school. I, I can drive. Uh, I, I work as a social worker. Uh, I, no, 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 no. Nobody's going to recruit you for that. You need to have a job. You need to have a career path. If you are a driver, have the experience as a driver. Don't tell somebody that you can do this, you can do. They don't want people who can do everything at the same time. They want people who are specialized in doing something efficiently. If you can drive, if you can teach, if you can cook, if you, then you cannot finally do anything. You are masters of all trade. You are jack of all trade, but you are master of no. Build a career. Have a career. By building that career, it goes with education and having a solid career that you, you master very well and that you can prove it. When you have this put together, write a good CV, a European standard CV that reflects all your education background, your professional background, your language capabilities, your hobbies, and you name the rest. When this step one is done, the next step is to get a Schengen visa. Schengen visit visa is the key to Schengen. If you want to get a work visa into Schengen, you will have to be an exceptional candidate who is going to be filtered on the top list of the international candidates who are applying to get into Schengen. I told you there are so many people. Let's assume there are 8,000 people who are applying for these 150 jobs. Will you, my subscriber, will you be able to be on the top Five, top 10, top 100. We, we know what we're talking about because there are different countries. They want to take people from the US. They want to take people from Canada. They want to take people from other European countries. They want to take people from Russia, from, a from Asia before we come to us. We know why because they consider like our educational system is not that good, but that's fine. That's not what we want to concentrate to talk about here. So you as a smart pers person, you will need to get the Schengen tourist visa which is very easy. Schengen tourist visa to Lithuania is very easy. That is point number two. Point number two, that's it. So now let's talk about visa. So what are the Lithuania entry requirements to get a visa? Who needs a visa to Lithuania? I said that uh, on our last video on that we talked about Lithuania that is hitting more than 12,000 views now. We talked about um, the different countries that have the that can go into Lithuania without a visa. I think we don't need to go in here in detail, but we have to know that you have to check your eligibility. Just go to Google and type in uh, "visa free countries for Schengen for Lithuania." If you find your country there, then you are eligible to actually go to Lithuania without a visa. If you can't find a country, then you need a visa to go to Schengen. And Schengen gives three months visa for tourists. Now, you need a tourist visa. How to apply for a Schengen tourist visa? Now, as you have seen uh, here, just a background information, Lithuania Schengen visa application requirements. The Republic of Lithuania located in the northeastern Europe, and it has an area of... 65,301 kilometers square and a population of just 2 million people. So this is a country that is open 
for you. Before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying. Please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is the only thing you can do for me now. It is free. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and actually recommend or share my video to your friend. That's the highest thing you can do to make me actually feel motivated to keep doing more videos. And I really want to apologize for the fact that uh for over seven years, days i didn't do a video i'm so busy uh we are struggling to bring you uh, services concerning international travel to help you book your flight propose the cheap flights for you and uh, propose good destinations for you in the coming days and the website is just gonna be up soon and running so i've been having sleepless night building this site and you just have to enjoy the services very soon right so away from that uh, we're talking about the Schengen visa application requirements, right? Now, the entry requirements, as we talked the other time, is a valid passport or a travel document. The travel document can be an electronic visa, like they can offer a visa to you just uh, an, uh, just uh, electronically, and when you arrive in Schengen, they will actually stamp your passport. And then you have to, uh, in that visa, you need to actually state the purpose of your visit, like we said, is visiting visa you are visiting for tourist reason why do you visit different countries you can visit as a tourist or you can visit to meet a family member right and uh, at this period like the holiday is the best time to visit different people's countries as a tourist so think about that right and then who needs a visa to enter schengen i said you can just if you come to this website schengenvisainfo.com uh, slash luciana slash visa you can click on this link that i highlighted on the screen to actually find out if you're eligible or not and then what are the documents so we have the the first document is the Lithuania visa application form two passport photos your valid passport copies of your previous visas if applicable if you've had visas to go to schengen before the health travel insurance that i said in our last video and uh, we talked about the insurance and i want to emphasize that this insurance is one of the most important documents that you need to get your your schengen travel visa like you've seen it's highlighted the screen and it says they want somebody with that they want a, a, a travel um, um medical health insurance of thirty thousand euro it doesn't mean that you need to pay thirty thousand euros right it means that you need to buy a, an insurance that can cover 30,000 euros. So if you have a problem, they will be able to go into that phone and help you out while you are in Lithuania. It depends also on the age, your age. If you're young, we in your 20s, it's going to be cheaper. If you're old, it's going to be cheaper because they, they think that old people are some 45 or 50, they tend to have more health problems than other people, right? So you need to take into this consideration. Now, there are companies that sell these insurance companies that sell these insurances that you need to verify before you buy it so that's where we come in to help you build this the this this environment but if you can do it confidently you do it but do not go and make a mistake and click in a different link and come and accuse don franco that oh you asked me to buy something online and you bought it no that's not how it works right there are so many links there are spam links there are all kind of websites that are similar to the ones that we deliver information from but you need to be careful know how you do your search yes so the 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 the, the travel insurance when they say thirty thousand it doesn't mean that you have thirty thousand right and then we also have a uh, proof of um means of transport round trip flight itinerary you need to have booked a flight from your country to Lithuania and back to your country to show that you're going back right and uh even when traveling by car things like that or by train you need to book that and let your itinerary be explicit and let the immigration know that you know where you are going to proof of accommodation or hotel reservation you need to have reserved a hotel proof of sufficient financial means i talked extensively about this thing on the last video financial means is the bank statement the bank statement which has which is a history a track record of what you have all saved on the last six months in that bank account let the amount be at least 15,000 euros for you 
if you are going to stay there for three months because they estimate that per day you should spend a particular amount of money and should also pay insurances and your other expenses like hotels and all that if it is at least 15 it is greater chance that you are going to give it but if it's ten thousand euro it's still fine you can still go through it right a cover letter which is a personal letter in which you explain why you are applying to visit Lithuania. going back to this um proof of funds you don't only show a bank account with money inside you need to show what you are doing to earn that money so if you're an employee somewhere you show your employment letter if you're a business owner you show your licenses that like i'm running a shop and this is my source of you need to prove the source of your income if for example i'm an immigration officer and i see somebody comes in with um a proof of fund a bank statement that is just three months old was just created three months ago and i'm seeing fifteen thousand euro inside it's obvious that you just created that for that purpose and you borrowed money to put inside and you remove it back later so you need to know how these things work do you understand what i mean right yeah so um talking about the proof of civil status you need to show if you're married or not and all that so these are the requirements on getting this visit visa now if you have the opportunity to get a job you need to provide an employment contract a current bank statement of the latest six months leave permission from the employer income tax return form and if you are self-employed a copy of your business license a company bank statement of the latest six months income tax return and if you're a student you need to prove of your enrollment no objection certificate from a school or university you need to uh, may, uh, have it advertised on a website if you are retired you need to show a pension statement of the, at least six months and if it is applicable so now additional information uh additional Lithuanian visa requirements for minors birth certificate Lithuanian application form signed by the both parents if your child is traveling with only one parent marriage certificate or parents divorce certificate family court order and authorized parental authorization to travel to Lithuania a certificate couples of uh, uh, certified copies of id passport of both parents if the minor will be traveling alone with other persons so there's just a ton of information concerning this strategy number two focus on getting the visit visa if you are not having the funds take your time and prepare don't be in a rush everything is planning you need to plan everything before you succeed in this world Take your time if you don't have your 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 advanced level your high school certificate take your time and get it so when you are ready you can that's why i said that these jobs this job that you see here you will see some up uh, these are the ones that have been uploaded these are the skilled ones so many unskilled jobs are in lithuania that will permit you to even work three jobs a day and you make more money but what do you need you need to get into lithuania and the easiest way is to get the tourist visa that is the secret so the third one this is not taking me to the third one and that third one is getting the job so when you are already in lithuania and you don't even have the right adequate skills you stand the chance of getting the job against somebody who is out of lithuania and who has all the skills that are needed L employers have this fear in their mind L employers canadian employers u.s employers australian employers finland employers uk employers and almost all country they have this fear in your mind in their minds that they can spend their time their effort their energy their money to hire you from abroad process your visa when you arrive in that country you say you don't want the job so they want you to do part of the work that's why it is going to be easy for you to get a job from lithuania when you are there than out of lithuania even if you have high skills those who don't have skills at all you will get jobs as you go into this country it is a very small country in terms of population and it has a big and large surface area the economy is good and you will get your way around when you're already in schengen you can decide to go to any schengen a country that they speak english of your choice there's nobody that's going to stop you from doing that listen gentlemen i hope that you have understood the different strategies that you need to use in order for you to successfully relocate to lithuania 
to get a job in a very short period of time and make yourself comfortable. I'm not going to pull this video so long because I don't want you to waste more time watching the video. I want you to understand the content and see how important. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any other question, please don't forget to put it in the comment section so I can clarify you and do not get angry if I do not get back to you early on time, right? Do have some constitution because I have a lot of things that I do at the same time. I also travel and it consumes a lot of time. And there's one thing I wanted to say. Uh, please don't just pick your phone and call. Because you have my phone number, don't just feel, pick your phone and call. We're not on the same time zone. People call me in the middle of the night. Put a message and if, if I, I have an appointment with you, I can actually, I call. I will call you and we'll talk out. I'll give you the best advice that I can. And I'll make sure that you have the opportunity to go to your dream country and have a job with you and your family. Why not? Thank you for watching my videos. And if you do like the content of this video, please don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And also recommend my videos and share for people to actually watch. Thank you very much. Do have a nice day because I'm going to see you on another one.